Hi, good morning. Welcome to a safety meeting. Today, instead of um, smoking pot for my safety meeting, uh, I am going to cut up my vegetables for the day that I snack on, my fruits and vegetables that I snack on throughout the day. I like to eat about every, or snack about every two hours to keep my blood sugar up. If you noticed, um, I only wear black. I'm thinking about this. I don't really steer away from a black wardrobe. <laughs> so if it looks like I'm always wearing the same thing, I, I may be just wearing the same thing because I don't mind wearing the same clothes over and over. I mean, I like them, right? But um, it's probably also just because everything I own is black. I mean, except for like a white shirt or something. I might have a pink dress. Anyways, I'm going to go get my nails done today, and I, I said it, I said I was going to get used to these as soon as it was time for me to, for me to go get um, new nails, or a new color on my nails. Um, I would probably just go with black, though, this next time. <laughs> uh, spare myself the uncomfortableness of something new right now. Um... Because I feel like I'm already, like, a little bit uncomfortable with some new stuff. I, um, if you've been following me, you already are aware that I'm on a spiritual journey and healing myself in the process of, like, codependency and <laughs> healing my ego, <laughs> childhood wounds. Um, so the new thing, I... <sighs> I've been, I've adopted this concept along my life, or throughout my life, and I'm not quite really sure where I got the concept other than it's just been fed to us, right? This concept of free will, like we actually have the freedom to do as we wish and make all these choices, like we definitely have a choice between an apple and an orange, right? However, when I was starting to digest this more, because I also believe that um, we're on a path and uh, or a contract of some sort, right? And that this path is already planned out for us. We didn't have much say in this plan before planned out. And we just got dropped on earth and, uh, and we're supposed to... Prov uh, follow through with this mission and um, I started thinking about that I was like well if it's already all planned out before we even got here on earth then free will is an illusion because everything's already set in stone and the divine is going to guide us and the other thing that I've learned is that I am the divine I have the divine inside of me you have the divine inside of you so ultimately, the divine is guiding us to continue down the path on our mission, not free will. And free will, I mean, some parts of me, like my mind is blown right now because it's like, I've been taught free will for 40 years, right? And right now it's just all crumbling down and I'm realizing that no, free will is just our fucking ego getting in the way. We have a purpose here and we're supposed to be doing something. If we choose to listen or not, the divine, it's like, and if we choose not to listen, the divine will put us back on our path. That whole thing, divine timing, which by the way, time is also an illusion and a man-made thing as well. Maybe, maybe you resonate with that or not. Um, so there really is no such thing as time. We've just have created it. Like all these other systems we've created, you know, politics and healthcare and um, our housing and even these, I mean, religion. Fucking cult. Um, he chewed tomatoes. So he dropped one, but I'm okay. I'll eat it. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I feel like the last few days, my mind has been very consumed by this concept of no free will. 
Um, Sam, I looked up a video uh, by Sam Harris. I think it was done in, in what 2012. It's on YouTube if you want to go and check it out and see what you know more depth of like what I'm talking about, or just do some research on yourself or around yourself, especially if it resonates that there's no free will. I mean, these little, the, the the guidance comes from somewhere, right? And it always guides us if we're able to listen to it, right? So this whole time, I've been thinking that guidance, that little voice, that spirit talking to me was me making these decisions, which, which it is in a sense because I'm the divine. But really, where are those thoughts coming from, right? When we think about it, they come from maybe experience. Sometimes I don't even know what I'm going to say in the next sentence. It just comes out. That's not free will. That's somebody else like, that's something speaking through me, right? Guidance. And I think about the breakdown of our bodies, right? We're full of all these systems inside of our body that that keep us alive. So we have cardiovascular, we have our neuro system and cognitive and, um, and then we have all of our organs and they all have to work together, but they all have their own function on their own, right? So really, so they all work together inside there and they have their own functions. So our liver and our gallbladder, they need to be functioning nice and strong on their own I don't know if this is making any sense. That just function nice and strong on their own so that they can collaborate with the other organs and the other systems in our body. So sometimes, though, our stomach talks to our brain, right? Sometimes our stomach says, I want cake. I need cake. I need cake. Brain, eat cake. Right? And we fight with it a little bit we fight with it we fight with it we're like no I want to stay on my diet I don't want to give in to this cake if I eat this cake and then you know we might end up eating the cake and then we feel bad about eating the cake but really it's our gut talking to our brain not free will our gut is saying I have flora you know <laughs> bacteria in my stomach and uh, and your stomach is covered with candida and candida just wants to be fed with sugar and bread carbs right so that's not free will that's our stomach actually speaking to our brain and then who knows how fucking like healthy our brains are we shove them full of chemicals on a daily basis through processed foods right and then not only that but we don't get an, the American Americans or just people in general do not get an accurate amount of sleep. And to, the only way the brain can fully detox is through a, a restful night's sleep. Not this bullshit that I hear people say, oh, I can live off of five hours of sleep, six hours of sleep. It's not enough time for your brain to, uh, to detox. All of our other organs have are on a detox system, right? Our brain's detox system is sleep. But what do we do as humans? We fill it up with, we fill our brain up with things like processed food that have heavy metals in it that can affect our cognitive thinking. Um, what else do we fill it up with? Lack of sleep, which so our brain is constantly foggy and never gets the actual um, detox it needs. And then what else do we do? Um, oh, caffeine. Caffeine is a false uh, false uh, energy is stimulant so we put caffeine in there a lot of people drink alcohol what do you think alcohol does to your brain all it does is eat holes in it so breaking it down like this and me thinking about this no free there's no such thing as free will it's an illusion I start thinking about the system inside my body and how it needs to operate and function at, at a performance level and for, in order for me to actively move through life as well. I think this might end up being two parts, but that's okay. Um, and so my internal system needs to function at this high performance so that I can function in the external world at this high performance, right? And if my internal body is not there, then my external body is not going to be there. Then if everything is connected, whoop, 
on the inside of my body in this universe that I carry around in my meat suit, right? That means everything's connected on the outside of the body, which also means there is no such thing as original thought, which I've already believed in this for a long time. There's no, there's no original thought, art is fake, this kind of stuff. Like, the thoughts have come from somewhere. They, these thoughts came from somewhere. They got put in our brain for some reason, in our mind for some reason. There's no original, like, song either. The songs have already been said. All the messages have already been said. We're just doing it in a new revised way or whatever. But somebody had to plant these thoughts in our head, right? We didn't do it. That's just, that's just giving humans way too much credit. And if you remember, we have a reptilian brain. Rept reptiles are, they're not, they're not advanced. <laughs> and yeah, they got big personalities. I've owned a few reptiles in my life, but they definitely are not advanced. So our brain is not that advanced. We give ourselves a way, way too much credit. <laughs> um, and that's because of the ego. The ego steps in the way and takes over. So when we think we have choices, right? And we're like, I have a choice. I can do A or B. A or B, right? A or B. And let's say I choose B. However, the divine really wanted me to choose A. How, he's going to, you know, the divine, the divine's going to let me. Spirit's going to let me go down this, this choice that I already made. Uh, but something tells me along the way, if that's really not the choice that my path was supposed to be and my ego got in the way because I think that I could make this choice on my own. That's mine, my decision, because I have this illusion of free will. Divine's going to tell me different and it's going to steer me into the other direction because that was my path's purpose. That was a contract that I already signed before I even came on earth, before I even got here. Again, I'm not sure like how much of this is is making sense, you know, like, or people are getting it. I feel like I'm still trying to process it, this thought, this thought, this concept. Um, and again, like I'm also like eliminating an old thought pattern of this illusion of free will. So I've been really silent the last few days. I'm doing a lot of like introspection, introspection, is that the right word? Hermiting, I'm hermiting and doing some soul searching. I've been doing that for a while now, I feel like months, months. It's like part of me is like, when am I gonna stop working? <laughs> All I'm doing is working. Um, Cause this feels like work to me. You know, I'm trying and, and granted, and, and it's been getting frustrating as well, but the, the, the work and the frustration, this is also just an illusion as well. Like I really don't probably need to work this hard to have a spiritual awakening. All I really need to fucking do is, is step out of this illusion and get still meditate and hear my guides talk to me. I need to quit filling my, my brain up with, um, or my internal system with, with like processed foods, like look at my beautiful plate of veggies and fruit for the day, woo, and eat more things like this so that my my internal environment works at a at a higher performance. It will run smoother, so that so that when my stomach talks to my brain, it doesn't tell me I need cake. Or to latch on to some sort of other weird codependency or some other negative bad habit or self-sabotaging, right? That's an illusion as well. So, self-sabotage. I don't know if that, maybe it's not an illusion. Meh. Oh, I think I just mind fucked myself right there in that sentence. Ah! Anyways, I don't, I want my internal body to relay positive messages to my brain. That's what I really want. Um, uh, and eliminate these chemicals and these heavy metals that are in my system that have been, I've been packing around for probably decades because of living on uh, processed foods, right? 
or not getting enough sleep or drinking too much coffee in my youth or too much alcohol in my 20s. Um, yeah, I, I want positive thoughts rolling through and I really, really want my ego to just step aside and let me step aside so that I can continue down my mission and my purpose and my path without such struggle. Because that's all the ego is doing is, is coming in and creating struggle. And... I really feel like I've been working, like I said, working really hard, right? And I've been struggling. I don't want to say all of my all of my life, but I've definitely have had a big struggle of like I've had my fair share of struggles, um, life lessons, trials and tribulations, um, my own judgment, my own. Uh, ego getting in the way of my, my life's purpose and my life's path. And, and again, these thoughts don't just come out of nowhere, right? It doesn't like the thought in my head of like estranging from my parents, divorcing my parents didn't go from, didn't come out of anywhere. It came from this, this, my experience. I didn't choose my parents, even though like, even though my spirit, Spirit feels like, yes, in a way I did choose my parents before I came down here. Um, but I didn't, and, and yes, I did choose, like there was, there was definitely like a plan for me to learn a lesson and go a certain route. And if I steered from it, the divine would steer me back on it with this, these thoughts that would come up, right? Free will. Um, so, Look at you're even you're seeing me in the midst of like digesting and downloading this concept and I and I feel like I'm putting it out I, I'm talking to you in the safety meeting without really fully taking in all this information um, I'm still working it out um, I'm sure I'll have more to say about it. Uh, you know, this was a segue, this whole free will thing and ego and illusion is, has, ugh, I keep burping, ah, it was this like segue from, from my subject of codependency that I was processing. So it put me in a spot to want to eliminate these chemicals in the internal body so that my internal body functions at a higher rate so that my external body can. And that way I can listen to the divine guidance a lot clearer. I don't like going a mile, like a hundred miles per hour. It doesn't make me feel good. I don't like my days just full of work. I want other things to balance it out. I um, know that I'm a sensitive person and I need a lot of like a lot of self-care and when I put in that amount of self-care I know that I function at a higher rate my psychic abilities are more open my intuitiveness is is more present um, I'm a better parent I'm a better person I'm a better provider I just function at a better level so and some of the things I was struggling with with codependency was food, for sure, like sticking cake in the mouth. <laughs> or one night ice cream, which was weird. I don't even like ice cream, but I felt like I was in a trance and went to my refrigerator and ate ice cream really, really unexpectedly. I actually threw it away after I started biting into it like three or four times. And I was just like, ooh, I don't even like ice cream. Put this away. Ding, that's codependency. <laughs> All right, so the safety meeting is in two parts. This is uh, 20 minutes long. <laughs> Talk to you later. Bye.